I love hearing it. You that's, can feel it. Uh, yeah, I can already tell you that's... This is something special. That is special. Welcome, uh, everybody. Paul here at Music Villa, yep. downtown Bozeman, Montana, home of Gibson Guitars. I'm with Quentin King here, and we are checking out a real kind of rarity. Uh, we don't see these very often these days because uh, there's, there's a lot of craftsmanship in this guitar. This is a uh, Gibson Hummingbird Custom Koa. Um, mm. You know, it's, I mean, look at it. First of all, I mean, it just sounds ridiculous. This is, you know, I, I'm, I'm not impressed by a pretty face alone. I can respect it. Mm -hmm. The amount of effort and work that goes into all of these appointments, the details, the right. inlays, and the right. fancy pickguard, and the hummingbirds on the side, but uh, it's right. It is pretty. Yeah. If it was just straight, plain up, no, f no nothing, and it sounded like that. Yeah. I it's, would. That's what's getting me. I mean, it's even yeah. got these fancy uh, tuning yeah. machines. It's it's a really attractive, uh, pretty guitar. Again, I'm not like a bling person, right. but it's. I respect it, right. but what really sells me. This is one of the best sounding Gibsons I've played in yeah. in recent memory. It just is point is it's not just a pretty face. It's yeah. it's it's very pretty. Yeah. Lots of nice stuff, but if I was blindfolded, I would still pick this guitar out of a group just yeah. because oh, yeah. of the way it sounds. Because it's got that nice balance between the crisp. Yeah. It's got this up here. And it's got the chug. It's got some chug. Yeah. It's can got, listen to this one all day long. It's got something special. Look at, this, the, look at the inlay. So it, it's a hummingbird, you know, basically. Mm -hmm. But I call it like the hummingbird in flight, kind of like the doves in flight. Like you got the hummingbird and it goes up the entire fingerboard. I mean, it's just... It, it's very pretty. All the way up to the headstock. Yeah. I Artwork, mean, you just don't yeah. see this much these days. It's and getting harder to, to do these. What's the, So this is Koa. Koa. What's the top yep. one? Uh, spruce. Sick of spruce. Okay. Real wide. I mean, really wide yeah. grain. That's pretty. Uh, you know, they just, they make a great dreadnought. It's just that they, you know, they're not known. They, like, they don't really make a rosewood dreadnought. Like, they don't really compete in that the rosewood, D28 yeah. rosewood uh, dreadnought well, field. Do, it's their own but thing. But they Gibson do their own a, things, yeah. They have, they have stuff that is so sound, unique to so. Gibson. But every time, you know, like I said, like the Dove, the Maple Dove, we've done that one a few times. Remember mm -hmm. that? That thing's a monster guitar. So anytime you see a... A Gibson Dreadnought, um, they got it. Yeah, this one, you know, the custom shop. Kudos to Gibson and the custom folks for putting together. Yeah. This one's got some, any, whoever gets this is gonna be very pleased. Yeah. You just gotta, you just gotta watch your, uh, you gotta watch your pick guard. Yep. That's the only thing. But. It's always it's always hard to play a really nice guitar when Paul's watching, because <laughs> I'm always it's like oh it's a, I'm a, a, I do I watch everyone that comes in here and play because they <laughs> put that they anchor that pinky down and the fingernail just digs into the pick curbs. Sorry, did I do that? No, you didn't. Okay, good. I've, I've been watching. Okay. It looks good. He would have smacked me. Yeah, that's why I try to stay just out of arms, right out of backhand <laughs> reach. Stop it, Quentin. Anyway, yep. Thank Gibson, you. Gibson Custom Hummingbird Custom. Yep. Koa. Koa. Sick on the Beautiful. Front. Made right here in Bozeman, Montana. Yeah. Come down, check it out. Musicvilla.com. Uh, Quentin, thanks. You bet. Thanks for watching.